Mike Kingsley is a pastor from Uganda who grew up during the bloodthirsty regimes of Milton Obote and Idi Amin. Kingsley, who survived death, wars, famine, diseases, witchcraft, AIDS, and all the evils that almost wiped out Uganda's people, is now a missionary to America. To have survived the horrors that took place in my country and to be alive today is a miracle. I remember running with my father and mother while loud sounds of gunfire were going off. We were jumping dead bodies and witnessing the mass killings that were going on. But now we thank God for transformation. Uganda is still on the road to total recovery and transformation from the grassroot level to the national level. The President and First Lady are still calling their nation to be a God-fearing nation, repenting for all the sins in the land through a national cleansing. I am very thankful for what God has done and is still doing in Uganda today. There was a time when I thought he had forsaken us and that all the world had forgotten Uganda. However, we cried out to God to save us from a total destruction. I am grateful also to every man and woman of God from America and around the world that have come to Uganda to help us through the healing process and give us a hope from a once a dying nation. Men of God like Dr. Teal Osborne, Maurice Cerullo, the late Benson Adahosa, Ranhad Bonke. I'm also grateful to Christian television that has brought us to a greater level of how we do ministry in Uganda. That is a revival in itself. We owe a great date of gratitude to TBN's Paul and Jan Crouch, CBN's Pat Robertson, Destas Marcus and Johnny Lam, Benny Hien, Joyce Meyer, James Robinson, and many others that have impacted our nation for Jesus. God sends a pastor's son together with his family as missionaries to America with a burden of prayer and warning and to plant the seeds in a nation that did the same in Uganda. A warning not to throw away those godly principles that made America great. He has conducted hundreds of rallies to call America back to God. I don't know about you, but I can sit still and watch a nation that God has used to spread the gospel around the world go under. I saw that happen in my nation, Uganda. And I know how it feels to see the fabric of a nation breaking down at every level. That's why we need to take this time in America seriously and call on all God's people in this nation on their knees before God, before the worst comes our way. This is the burden that we carry. America can recover if and when the righteous stand to call America back to God. In production for over a year, Mike Kingsley Ministries with Radiance Creative Communications have been working on the documentary, America's Last Option. Its message for America is how this country can recover and return to God. It starts at the grassroots level to form a national transformation through prayer. Teaching and inspiring the body of Christ, the documentary shows how families, churches, and leaders in every city in America can seek God for America using the same experiences of prayer learned in Uganda. They are now releasing the film in DVD form all over America to spark revival in every community. We see a window of opportunity given to the body of Christ in America. At this crisis hour, we need to humbly ask God to save America again. There is still hope. A mighty awakening is about to break out any time. But we have to return to God first. That's what America's last option is about. It inspires and shows us God's plan for this hour. It's a catalyst to the move of God. Starting in every Christian home, our churches, and then affecting our cities and ultimately transforming our nation back to God. The call is now. It is serious. And all of us are called to answer the challenge to pray.
for America at this hour.